cheese sauce. So what I have here is I've got some, this is the same cheddar that we used for the Rubens. So it is lax medium cheddar out of Greenleaf, Wisconsin. And then a shout out from our very own Sheboygan, Old World Creamery Pure Irish Butter. Salted, of course. So what we're gonna do, I have here a quarter cup of butter. I have three cloves of garlic, minced. I also have a quarter cup of flour with just a pinch of cayenne. Three tablespoons whole grain mustard. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. A bottle of Killian's Irish beer. Then I have two cups of heavy cream floating in the back here. Then I've got two packed cups of the shredded medium cheddar and then a tablespoon of cornstarch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start throwing our butter oh, ooh, in our pots. And then we're gonna mosey over to the stove. So we're gonna start with getting this melted down. And then we're gonna saute our garlic in here. A lot of the seasoning for this we are gonna do towards the end, just because there's gonna be a lot of sharp flavors between the beer, the cheese, and the mustard. So with something like this, I like to season at the end to ensure it's not gonna to be too salty. garlic in here. And I'm just going to let this get translucent. Probably going to let it go for about a minute. You're going to know your garlic's just about ready. It's going to become really fragrant. So you're going to smell that lovely garlic. Butter and happiness. Flour and cayenne, and we want to continuously whisk that. We're making a roux right now. This is going to help thicken our sauce. Cook this down just a little bit. And we'll add our beer. And the reason I'm adding the beer before the cream is I do want to try to cook. The, some of that alcohol out and reduce it just to scotch so that then we aren't going to run any risk of um, curdling our heavy cream at all. Going to add our Worcestershire sauce. Alrighty. So now we're going to put this on a little bit of a lower flame and we're gonna let this cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes. Alrighty. So we've reduced down a little bit and you can see that we've gotten thicker. So now I'm gonna add my first cup of cream. It's almost like a slight skull. Then we're going to toss our cheese with a little bit of the cornstarch. Our sauce is getting a little bit thick, so we're probably not going to use all of the cornstarch. You just really only want enough to coat it. What that's going to do is that it's going to keep your sauce from breaking. So a lot of times with cheese sauces, they do tend to have a possibility of breaking. This pretty much guarantees that that will not happen. bubbling towards the outside. Let's make that whisk again. Put just a little bit of our cornstarch in here. Just a scotch more. So I've used about half of what I have. Then for 
this, you're gonna do one handful and then whisk it. And then you wanna make sure that all of your cheese is melted before you add any more. Whisking away. Right, and we're gonna keep doing this until all of our cheese is added.